Today I'm going to show you guys the best and fastest epic farm for the end game, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to show you guys the best and fastest epic farm for Outriders and this is for specifically the end game. And if you guys want to see more Outriders content in the form of class builds, legendary farming, or any type of farming, official and fan made lore, news, updates, and more, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any video. Okay. Let's get into the nitty gritty of it all and let me point out that this is not a captain farm. I feel the relief coming off of your body already. <laughs> but why would we even want to farm epic gear and not legendary gear? Well, this is simple. All legendary gear, no matter how you get it, has set and locked attributes. This being things like bonus firepower, anomaly firepower, long range damage, etc. Now, their numbers or percentages can be changed. What this means is that all legendary gear will always drop with the same three attributes, no matter how many times you get it, or unless the devs decide to put random rolls in the game. And just because you get your three piece legendary set armor bonus, doesn't mean that those pieces of gear will have the attributes that you want. Epic gear, on the other hand, doesn't have that. This makes it easier so you can farm the headgear, and that's just an example, that you want for aesthetics while getting the attributes you want as well. For all of you that are number hungry and want to make your damage go higher, this is perfect for you. This farm will also help you get more attribute shards when you dismantle gear that you're not looking for. However, this farm is also for those who don't want to spend or can't spend forever inside of an expedition. Or if you're not good at expeditions, or if you have a bad team that keeps on dying because you decided it was a good idea to matchmake, which in turn wastes your time. And I don't like wasting time either. As I had said in the beginning of this video, this farm is for the end game and you can get three to five pieces of epic gear every 25 to 30 seconds, depending on how fast you clear the ads. For starters, you want to be on world tier 15 and have access to the Canyon of the Grand Obelisk. Some of you already know where I may be going with this. Make your way to the wrecked APC, clear out all of the packs, pick up the hunt for Tython, then head to Infested Square. Here, you are going to clear all of the ads as fast as you can and then kill Typhon as fast as possible, then let all of the remaining ads kill you. While you're doing this, keep in mind that any of the ads also have a chance to drop epic gear, but the majority of the epic gear will come from Typhon after you kill him. Once you kill Typhon and then you let the ads kill you, all you have to do is rinse and repeat. Yes, I understand that the gear pieces drop at level 42. But doing this method is still by far better and faster than doing an expedition and praying for the gear to drop with the attributes you want it to drop with. I don't know, getting 360 epics in one hour, if you give it an average of 3 epics per run, is still better than 30 epics if you do an average of 5 epics every 10 minutes for an expedition. And it's not hard to level up an epic you want and need for your build to level 50. And yes, this technically works for green and blue gear as well with specific attributes that you may be looking for. Let me remind you, this is a farm. And with any farm, this will take time to get the gear that you may be looking for. Let me know down in the comment section below if this video helped you out. And if it did, please leave a like on the video. Also, tomorrow I have a different video on how to manipulate the mods on the gear that you want. So stay tuned for that. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you need a place to play Outriders, come join the Everything Outriders Discord. Every platform is welcome. You can make new friends, get help with expeditions like Challenge Tier 14, 15, and Eye of the Storm, get detailed information on things such as data mines, patch notes, lore, and look at all the legendaries in the game as well. We are close to 200 members and it's growing every single day, so come and join us. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below, and I will see you guys in the next one. 
Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.